Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. The rhetoric and narratives of Rigadi Gashagwa, Kimani Shungwa and Oscar Sudi that it was rules that were busy destabilizing the economy and also the government of William Ruto. It has come out to indicate that truly it was not like that. These people were just having a narrative to blackmail and paint a bad picture of a certain tribe and that is Luo. When Raila Odinga came out calling for a mass action, they came out day in, day out, spreading, spreading narratives that it was Luo's that were planning mass action. Furthermore, Rigali Gashago came out last Sunday saying that the demonstration was for Luo's because it was spotted in Kibira, Madare, and Kisumu. So other counties were not demonstrating. That is what Rigadi Gashagwa told us. Again, they told us that the reason why Luo's were demonstrating was because they were for their interest. And I want to ask if it is Luo's that were on the streets demonstrating, looking for their interest, I think today they could have come out to pay the MPs their salaries. They could have come out to disburse the, the resources to the county governments. They could have come out to pay the KBC their salaries. They, they, they could have come out to pay um, the civil servants their salaries. So it has come out that themselves, they have come out to expose themselves. That is the narrative of Rigadi Gashago. Kimani Shungwa and Oscar Sudi. Oscar Sudi even came out blackmailing, insulting even Luo tribe, saying that these behaviors of us having out to come out to storm the streets, protesting and demonstrating that destroying the property of the Republic of Kenya, which according to me it is not true, it is those who are just, even as we speak now, they are praying day in, day out so that the mass action can come back so that they can loot the, and destroy the property. Because when you look at those people who are coming out to demonstrate, it's because they know what they are addressing. Those who don't, know, don't understand whatever they are addressing through the, the, the mass action, those are the people who are coming out to destroy the people's property. Those are thieves who are coming out to raid people during the mass action. So for this government coming out to paint a bad picture for rules, now they have come out to expose themselves. And by exposing themselves, we knew that if truly the mandamano was for only rules, I think these people could have not come out to lack any money to pay civil servant salaries. They could have not come out now the Ministry of Treasury coming out to tell us that our country is bankrupt. You know, a bankrupt country is a, is a way that a country is having a debt, is unable to pay, and again is unable to actualize their economy. That is how a country is bankrupt. Because if you are bankrupt, though Kenya has not been declared a bankrupt, but because of the statements that we are getting from the Treasury, it's showing us that we are bankrupt. So for them that they have come out many times making a narrative of so and so they are fighting for their interest. I ask this question in a certain video. When a Luo is coming out to fight for a Wunga, a Wunga that is being sold in Kisumi the same as the Wunga that is being sold in Murama, was in Gishu, Mombasa. No difference. I've heard William Ruto saying, that there's nothing can change if someone is coming out to wear a sufriyan, he said. It's just an indication. It is just a, a, it is just a momentum uh, like, like someone that can come out to carry a placard. Placard addressing why he's demonstrating. When someone is wearing a sufriyan, in his head, or in uh, her head, he's addressing that I'm not good. Things are not right. So these people are so arrogant. That even through whatever they are seeing, they are addressing it so arrogantly that even 
the message that that person who is wearing sufria in his head is not coming to their attention so for them it's just to create narratives i listen to william ruto even coming out to say that it is luos who are wearing sufrias in their heads but when you look at Kima, jeremy kiuni jeremy kiuni is a kikuyu he has been wearing sufria in his head throughout is not a luo so this narrative that is being created against luos i think at times it is not fair because as much as we are com- uh, as much as pe- uh, luos are coming out on the streets it is because other tribes are afraid to go storm the street tell me today which tribe will storm the street with these old tigers and fight and blocking all roads of police officers tell me today it is not about bragging that luos have been always coming out to storm the street but these are the people the same same people who are being uh, the, the narrative is created against them now if they cannot come out to fight you know with other tribes like luyas kambas and others you know things might not good because i want to tell you the truth you cannot tell a kikuyu to demonstrate with all those kitiagas he cannot they cannot but there are those who have been always with Rail Odinga they know who is uh, uh, they understand what is the the mass action through this tiagasing and all those kind of things but bigger percentage of them they don't know they don't understand so it is only certain people who are always coming out to pressure a government so that they can understand that our country is on a wrong direction and by the way William Ruto is busy riding or driving the car regarding a shabwa is encouraging william ruto all things are well let us go let us go but they are going directly to the forest they are not on the right direction so for them to come out to such a create a certain a narrative against some people i want to say that it is just a little narrative that cannot even uh, support them to bring the high cost of living at affordable price that common mananchi can have so for them they have understand and for their realization they've come out to realize that things are truly against us even despite of us coming out to create narratives day in day out the same narratives are coming against them so the purpose of them to come out to show us the true indication they must come out to stop this colliding a certain tribe with another tribe they came out even telling us that luos are planning to destroy the business of kikuyus in nairobi we were told it was regarding the shagwan kimani shungo who came out telling us that luos are planning to destroy the businesses of kikuyus in in, in in cbd then some people come up to ask this simple question is it that a kikuyu they are the only people who are owning business in nairobi cbd there are also despite of kikuyus are also owning businesses in the nairobi cbd there are also also other tribes that are owning their business so regarding the shagwa they must have to come out with a clear narrative that either will assist them will support them or either will destroy them because certain narratives are not here or there and might not bring something positive towards the operation as a government so for them to come out to tell a narrative that is against a certain tribe so that a certain tribe can be seen as a tribe that is so violent creating chaos in the country it is not true because the reason why this is the same same rules that few individuals are creating narrative against them they are among kenyans who came out also fighting for the truth for the high cost of living and the issues that were being addressed by as new opposition so i don't see anything so contact there the trigger chagua and kimani shungwa and oscar sudi to come out day in day out painting bad picture of a certain tribe you know it will look not really a good picture so ladies and gentlemen what are thoughts 
Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this bye -bye. video. Bye-bye. Till we meet on another video.